So this is my review for the TA2020S. I was thinking about getting a new amp and I wanted something under $100 and this came in about $55 shipped from eBay. The one really thing I like about it was the size, it's pretty small. Um, when I was looking at this originally, I was deciding between two, other, two other amps, the DTA1. I originally had the Sonic Impact and even though I liked it, I kind of wanted something new. The other amp I was looking at was from Parts Express, the Lapai. 2020 AT and I just didn't like the look of it. It's really small and the front has a lot of knobs which I didn't like. So when I got the Indeed I was really happy. Um, it's really clean. The front of it only has a power button and a knob. On the back of it it's pretty minimal too. You're going to see that it has a 3.5 millimeter input. That green device is um, speaker connects and for power it takes a 12 volt 5 amp power supply. And the power supply on the version I um, purchased came with it. And it's a really good power supply. I think it compares um, well with the one I have in my topping. For the length, you're going to see that this is really small. Um, it's about the length of an iPod Touch, and that's an iPod Touch right there. But even though it's small, it's well built. I feel like um, it doesn't feel cheap. It feels substantial. So we'll get to the speaker thing. So the speaker thing is weird. I've never seen it before. But it's just a different way to connect speakers. There's little screws at the top and you open up and tighten the screws to um, kind of release the tension on these little plates right here. And then you just kind of put your speaker wire in there and tighten it um, on the top right there. So I'll do a little quick demo. And the build quality of the device is really good. I think for $55 it's an amazing deal. You're going to see that on the front, when you turn on the power there's going to be a blue LED. And even though there is a light there, it isn't obnoxious. I think on the Topping TP30, it's a little bit too bright sometimes. On this one, it's just about right. But it, the one issue I did have is the knob's a little tight, so um, quality control could have been a little better on that knob. And for the last part, maybe the most important part for some people, sound quality. I'm not an audiophile, so I really can't do really great comparisons. But when I took my Topping TP30 out and put this one in, I definitely noticed that um, it did sound better. It was more clean. The mids were a lot brighter. And it just sounded better overall. I think um, for the size of it, I was like, I was almost shocked when I guess when I heard it. So um, definitely a good buy. Definitely if you're looking at this um, for fifty five dollars, a good deal. I didn't see any reviews on it, so I just want to let people know how I felt about it. Hey, thanks.